know what orthopedics and sports medicine is about, now go to TOSM.org and imagine you've arrived at this page because, I don't know, you hurt your hand or wrist, your foot or ankle is injured, My you've back got some or pain, spine. yeah, and you come to this page and you look at this page and this is really about SIVO, what we talk about all the time, search engine visitor optimization, which is when they come here, who is the target client and what do they know and what are they looking for? And they just want to know what you do, right? They want to know that you work on hands and wrists, spine and back, hip, knee, hip and shoulder. And we're actually still have to do some adjustment to this page. But now each one of those is a link to a page. Each one of those page is keyword optimized so that we're going to really start our inbound link work on this website. And uh, um, that's where we're at. We wanted to give you guys an update. So this really shows, oh, here's the newer, good, good point. Here's the newer web page. And you can see right there you've got four different, the lighting may not be that great, but you've got four different, six different uh, things that we do. Uh, the company actually wants to add at least two more. At least two more. And we're going to adjust the page, and we also need to bring in some local components. We just wanted it to get to this point so that we could start doing SEO on it yeah. uh, in, a, in a major way. <laughs> so, so now it says, hey, we're an orthopedic surgery center. We can handle problems with your blah, 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 blah. And that's cool. That's what visitors look for. I, my hand hurts, and now they'll probably, oh, okay, they handle hand problems. Let's go, let's see what's up with that. Think about it. On that first page, if I ended up on this first page because I typed in back pain, <laughs> well, there's nothing that says back pain. You know, this is this is classic SIVO. If there's nothing about, if I arrived on this page because I typed back pain, and there's nothing about back pain, I'm going to... Bounce. Bounce. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was like, uh, leave, no, go no, home, okay. uh, bounce. <laughs> okay. <laughs> try a different, try a different browser. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> so that's cool. Check out TOSM.org and, uh, and look what's going on with it. And, you know, feel free to borrow some ideas. You know, you, everyone should be doing this. And give us their comments, too. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know, Let us know what you mean. Yeah, you guys are morons. Yeah. <laughs> that's, you know, that's fine. We've heard that before. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's not with us anymore. <coughs> Rest in peace. Because we killed him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can go for the subtle. He's not with us anymore was enough. <laughs> At least you didn't tell him how he chopped him I into know. pieces. And <laughs> stuffed, stuffed him in the back. <laughs> he's, he's under the reception desk. <laughs> okay. So, on page, keyword specific ranking factors. Like I said, there were 24 different uh, tips of things you could do. What I did is, or what I we took is, we took the ones um, that we felt were the most important, the ones that of most importance, and I found about three out of the 24. The first one is keyword use anywhere in the title tag. I mean, I, I've if you've listened to this, we've told this before. You put a keyword in your title tag, that'll take you what, uh, 30 seconds? I mean, that's something quick and easy you can do. Also, having uh, keyword use as the first word. Of the title tag, and that's actually something that you would tell me about if we could use the keyword as quickly as possible, as especially with possible. writing content. Uh, if you could have the uh, keyword the first thing, that has a big that can have a pretty big effect in, on in your head. header tag. One of the things that's really interesting about this particular article, not only does it talk about and 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 let's be honest, this is all guessing, right? This is all guessing. We do not know the Google algorithm. The only people who know the Google algorithm mm -hmm. are people who, who have been injected with you know immediate explosive devices as soon yeah. as they start to talk about the <laughs> algorithm. <laughs> and uh, so we're just kind of uh, postulating, okay, based on our experience, what tends to work to get people on the first page, uh, these are the key, and fa key factors. Not only did it go through those factors and give kind of some estimate of the importance, it also had con uh, consensus. So they had a number of people who commented on these things and what was the consensus? And keyword use anywhere in the title tag had moderate consistent con consensus. Keyword use as the first words had light consens consensus. And I'll be honest, that really that surprises really that, me. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm really surprised uh, because I would think there would be very high consensus that Having the keyword now, maybe this is an either or or something. Who knows how this, uh, how, uh, how, this. The, how the queries were set up? And Keywords then, anywhere in the title tag must, absolute must. Must keywords as the first words, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Most probably. 
Um, you know, and it just boils down to, okay, if you knew the title and the title had, uh, wow, this is going to be a hard one to come up with an example. If the, if the title had Houston Plumber only or Houston Plumber uh, provides great service, mm -hmm. that's one. Or if you had Houston Hero Saves Cat, he is a Houston Plumber. plumber. Okay, well, it's just logical that the fact that the keywords are in the first part of the title tag really has more value. That's the crux of the information in that page. Yes. And Google recognizes that, and that's that's what we operate on here. We want the, the keywords as early in the title as possible. Yes. Uh, one more that was pretty good was using the your keywords in your root domain. So if it's if you are a plumber having a a a, uh, key, a domain that's uh, HoustonPlumber.com. Another great example. Yeah. Go back and listen to uh, our interview with Joe Orsack. His domain Ooh. name when he started his company. He started with the domain name improvemycreditusa.com. So improve my credit. When you go to type improve my credit, his domain has all of those three words in it, including USA. So um, you know that's a great example of you know include the keywords in your domain if that's something that you have a choice to do. Uh, yeah, and, and that's actually a really good example. We need to figure out which <laughs> we need to put out. Uh, we need to figure out which podcast that was so we can we let can you tell. know yeah we'll, yeah we'll we'll put it in the in the blog cast I don't, that would, yeah, yeah i don't know where <laughs> uh and okay so those those are three things that we find that, are important. Get that information here's some more stuff that we don't really find that's important i just want to give you guys examples of hey what are the other here's some of the other 197 things john uh okay keyword use uh, and external link anchor text on the page i mean yeah you you should do it it's good but it's not something you need to do uh, keyword use in page folder URL. Keyword use in page name URL. I mean, keyword use in the subdomain name. I mean, we can keep going on and on. Keyword use in comment tags in the HTML. Keyword use. I mean, there's so many different things that you could stuff keywords into, but you don't need to do all of it. And I know some of you are out there saying, well, crap, every time I listen to you, you give me four other things that I could do for your SEO. Can I do all of this? You know? If you have an unlimited budget and unlimited time, yeah, you should do all of this. Hire us. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> if you have we an unlimited budget. can do a budget, lot with an unlimited budget. Oh, man. I, Cancun, man, I promise you, man. <laughs> <laughs> unlimited, you give us an unlimited budget, I'll make your dead relatives come back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he's do under that. our reception desk. <laughs> <laughs> the Joe Orsak interview was uh, 32, 30, around 32, podcast 32 or 33. So uh, if you get on iTunes or any one of uh, the places that you can view our podcast, uh, you know, all of our podcast, you take, take a half oh, skirt. You, <laughs> your head's about fall, to fall off the video. Um, if you get onto iTunes or any one of the podcast uh, places, uh, you'll be able to see, look around 30, 32, 33, and you'll see an interview with Joe Orsak. That's where you can see that. That was a really good interview. Okay. Uh, so the next category we found are, and I didn't highlight these, are on-page non-keyword ranking factors. And let me grab these. Again, there are, this is the second category that we've gotten gone into, and there are 12 different ones of these. So another good one of importance is uh, uh, existence of unique content on the page. Duh. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say else. What's king? What's king? Content, content is, king, is king. Is king, queen, prince, uh, and court jester. I mean, you got to have content. We, we kick this dead horse. And it's good to be the king. Man, it is good to be the king. <laughs> uh, yes, that is of utmost importance, unique content on your page. People always uh, will send requests.